Now let's take a look at the Spontanea Video Window Interface. The first icon is for Settings. Under this tab, select your audio and camera devices. The Layout tab will allow you to format how your application and videos are displayed. Set your recording settings under this tab. General settings are turned on or off at this screen. The build number and software date can be found here. Clicking on the question mark will get you additional information. The next three icons will allow you to mute your microphone, speaker, and camera. As the moderator, you will have a record button that you can turn on or off. This next button will allow you to swap layout styles. Click on Rotate to move the videos from pane to pane. If you are a participant, click Raise Hand to ask a question. As the moderator, you will see a queue of questions. Click on this tab to expand the participants list. If you are the moderator, you'll be able to adjust the overall conference call settings as well as individual settings. In addition, the moderator has the ability to manage how others participate in the meeting. To manage a long list of participants, simply click to detach. Click on the chat tab to open up this panel. Here you can send text messages to the entire group or individuals. As before, simply click here to detach. The Presentation tab has multiple collaboration tools. Click Share Application to bring up a list of running programs. You can choose to share your entire desktop or individual applications. Click on the Presentation tab again. This will allow you to change the presentation you're sharing, allow application control, or stop the sharing. Clicking on File Transfer will open up a dialog box that will allow you to find a file that you can then send to everyone else. To stream a video file, click Presentation, Share Video, and then select the file from the list. To launch the Whiteboard application, simply click on the Whiteboard tab. The tools at the top will allow you to draw just about anything, and then save your work. Others can simply click Whiteboard and also Annotate. Click the Whiteboard tab again to close the application. Another way of using Whiteboard is to annotate an application you are sharing. Select Presentation, Share Application, then find your file and click OK. At this point, the Spontanea interface has been replaced by a ribbon across the bottom participants' videos are in a floating panel, and the application you have selected is being shared. Now click on Whiteboard. This will take a snapshot of your application that you're sharing and place it in the Whiteboard. As before, you and others can use the drawing tools to annotate. Clicking the Whiteboard tab will return you to the video window interface. Click on the tab on the left side of the interface to open up this panel. Under the Contacts tab, you'll find a list of your Spontanea contacts that you can click and invite. The next two tabs show a list of recent phone and video conferencing calls made. Invite by Mail can be used to create an invitation with all of the connection details. In the upper left-hand corner, you'll find your current session ID or room number that you are in. Clicking on the Info icon will bring up a panel with additional information on the call that you're in. This will include additional information for a video conferencing system or a phone to connect to this meeting. You will also find a URL listed. This can be copied and then emailed to others so that they can join the meeting. Clicking on the Bar Graph icon will bring up the statistics for the meeting, showing you the bandwidth being used. To resize the video window interface, simply click on the lower right-hand corner and drag. You can detach a video window by simply double-clicking on it. 
Click on the top bar to drag the frames to new locations. Then the lower right corner to resize. On the detached window, you can click in the upper right hand corner on the little X to return it to the main window. Clicking on this icon will take the panel to full screen.